Hi, I'm Alan McAnally, former professional football player and Sky Sports Soccer Saturday pundit and welcome to Betsafe's preview of the World Cup qualifiers, match day three, with myself and of course former Arsenal and Manchester City striker Paul Dickoff, who's always with me on Betsafe. Looking forward to match day three of our World Cup qualifiers. Yep, we are. Um, a lot of tough games to pick out. Well, we did, we, we did a travel for match day two, so what we're going to do, we're going to concise it a little bit. We won't speak so much about what's happening, we'll just concentrate on our trebles for World Cup match day three. You've gone from Wales at home to Georgia. Yeah, just purely um, Wales at home. You know, they had a great result yeah. in the first home game. Um, and, you know, you know, we're seeing it all along now. Chris Coleman's got the whole place buzzing. Um, and Georgia notoriously don't travel well. Yeah. And I just think that, look, the crowd in Cardiff are, are going to cheer them once they win. And they that's why I fancy them so much. The next game's a belter. The Netherlands against France, and you've gone for France. Yeah, I, don't, I think Netherlands in a massive transitional period at the minute. Mm. Um, you know, didn't qualify for the Euros where everybody expected them to. Incredible. Um, a lot of change, um, a lot of players sort of retire from international duty, younger ones coming through. Yep. Um, I think it's going to take a while for them to gel and I just think France with your Pogba and your man Griezmann but we're going to have yeah. too much for them. He you made know. a few quid in the summer to be fair. Yeah, he? he did and you know the, the, the Dutch crowd um, are notoriously not very forgiving as well and I think a France team going there could cause them all sorts of problems. And I think you're right Paul because I think the Dutch fans is the biggest thing at the moment because they normally expect to be in the tournament and they have, well you could say they've underperformed but Massively. There's, a, there's a huge, there's not, apathy is not the right word but they need a, they need a positive performance Against someone like France, who obviously it's one of the the big rivals. Yeah, and, and they're used to um, a change of guard, if you like. But yeah. they're used to the younger players coming in and going bang and hitting yeah. the ground running. Absolutely. Um, and they've not got that this time. I think I think they've got some fantastic young players, but it's just not gelling or clicking right at the minute. And I think France, with their experience and as we say, Griezmann will have too much for them. I was going to say I can't believe Rudy Kroll's still playing. Yeah. A lot of people <laughs> won't know who Rudy Kroll was. Rudy Kroll was a famous famous centre-half sweeper midfield, he could do what he wanted, couldn't he? he, was, uh, he was, was before my time. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So, you've <laughs> gone for France to beat Netherlands, and your third one, Iceland against Turkey, you've gone for Iceland, the yeah, Icemen. I, yeah, I just think, the, yeah, the clapping at home, the fans the and clap. everything else, uh, you know, we all know what, what they've done in the, in the summer, uh, and I just <sighs> think that they're a strong squad. Turkey are not a bad team, by the way. Yeah. No? They well, are, but the first, the first away one, they got a draw in Croatia, didn't they? They did, but you know, I don't think they'll fancy going to Iceland in no. a cold, in a cold October um, evening in um, Iceland at home. And I, I love the look of their whole squad mm. and the togetherness that they've got, and they're really difficult to play against. Uh, and I think they could bully Turkey a little bit. Yeah, it's a good treble. Match day three for Paul. He's going Wales to beat Georgia, France to go to Holland and win and Iceland at home to Turkey and I think I'm right in saying actually when I just mentioned Iceland I think they turned over Holland in the group stages over there didn't they? They did think, in, the, in the group stages for the Euros that is. They won the group Yeah, that's you right, know, so and that was did. a tough group as well My treble I'm going to go Sweden to beat Bulgaria just because I like Sweden <laughs> <laughs> You like going to Sweden I like going, like going to Sweden, going to Sweden. I don't, I, because the game's at home I've got kind of home advantage I don't think Bulgaria have been that particularly great I mean it's a long time since I don't know, was it the Stoichkovs, etc, 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 you know? B Berbatovs and yeah. people like that, Martin Petrovs, you know. That, uh, and, and Sweden, on their, on their opening game, got a draw at home against the Netherlands. Yeah, they did, and they're strong at home, Sweden. Uh, Bulgaria, I, if I'm being honest, I don't fancy them at all, mate. No. Um, I don't think they're going to have enough to to even get anywhere near getting through the group. They got they uh, beat Luxembourg, seven goals by the way, 4-3 they won, they've only just scraped through. I know it was at home, which is even worse, so I think they'll be up against it, that's why I've gone for Sweden. Yeah, they, they will, but you know, Luxembourg. I know, yeah. yeah. Don't be derogatory. <laughs> no, say, who did Luxembourg score three goals against? Um, Bulgaria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to say, it's a good chocolate, <laughs> nah, that's Switzerland, yeah. so in the wrong country. But I think you're bang on with that. You Next really one, uh, maybe not so good for a Scotsman. Never thought I would ever see you doing <laughs> this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this either, but I'm trying to get my treble up here. Slovenia against England, I've gone for... Slovenia. England. I'd love to go for... <laughs> I would love to go for Slovenia. I don't care what price they would be, I'd like them. But I've gone for England because I think they'll be hard to beat. Uh, and although Slovenia... Um, the first game they got a draw, didn't they, against is it Lithuania, I think it yeah. was, they got a draw against, scored two goals. I think they're struggling against England. I know England yeah. only just managed to get by Slovakia, but 
You know, I didn't think the Slovakia result was a bad one. No, me neither. Uh, listen, away from home, clean sheet, three in Champions points. League, Premier League, or World Cup, yeah. it's all difficult. Well, Al, you know what it's like. And you're in the changing room going to Slovenia, and if you're an England player or coaching staff member or anything yeah. else, you say before the game, let's get three points can and I get I out here as quick as we can. Absolutely. But I think it'll, it'll be a lot more comfortable for England and Slovenia than it was in Slovakia. And, um, so far, mate, I, I think your treble's looking good. Well, if England let me down, oh, that really will be the last thing. I may, not, I may never have a bet ever again. My third one, Denmark against Montenegro. I've gone for the Danes at home. Just because Big Peter Schmeichel phoned me the other day, I thought <laughs> I better put Denmark yeah. in. <coughs> what were we thinking, Denmark at yeah. home to Montenegro? Montenegro, new nation as well, and it's finding their feet at international level. Away, away from home, Montenegro, obviously, they got a draw in Romania in the first day. Yeah, which was which a good, is, a good yeah, result right. for them. But I just think they're relatively new, as in terms of international football and World Cup qualifying. Um, and I just think the experience of the Danes, and I hate to say it, but, but your treble's looking after you. The, thing, the only thing I'm apprehensive about Denmark is they beat Armenia 1 0. And for me, out with the game being tight, are they scoring enough goals? Are they creating enough chances? And do they have the strike power to? to go and turn over Montenegro who might make a couple of chances against them. I think look, Montenegro, they're, they're going to go there and sit back and mm. um, look to get a point as they did in, in, in match day one yeah. um, away from home. But I just think that the experience that the Danes will have over the, the Montenegro team will, will just nick it for me. And as I said, your, your treble's actually looking Fingers all right. Fingers crossed, maybe you should have a double up there. Treble yeah. trebles, treble yeah. trebles, double trebles. Uh, I'll, I'll go through the trebles that Paul and I have picked in a moment. Just to uh, go through some of the others. Um, Moldova play, or oh, sorry, the, the, the Republic of Ireland go to Moldova. Yep, and Moldova been turned over by Wales, and I think it'll be a lot closer game with being in Moldova, but yeah. um, I would like to see, and I think that the Republic could go there and win. I nearly put them in my trailer, the Republic. I'm actually going to go there and turn them yeah, over. Absolutely. Um, Northern Ireland go to Germany. That's, does it get any tougher? Uh, look. You know how Michael's going to set up as he, as he has done the majority of the games, but you know German football better than anyone, Alan. To, to go there and, and sit back for 90 minutes, it's virtually impossible. Their pre I've been reading some newspapers, and obviously Sky Sports Deutschland, etc., etc., they're smarting big time from not really. Well, the Euros was maybe a disappointment yeah. for them. They're smarting, they know that something that. They're certainly looking to be more entertained in the group stages, put it that way, apart from, yeah, we qualify, then we do well. They want to qualify with a bit of style. They want to do it in style. Apparently. Yeah, and uh, it's hard. Look, you never back against the Germans, do you? No, and exactly. I think um, as much as I would love to go with Michael and his Northern Ireland team, mm -hmm. I think um, Germany's going to win that comfortable. It's going and to be a bad night. Scotland go to Slovakia, where England got the 1-0 win. 1-0 win, yep. Yeah, and it's, uh, it'll be tough for Scotland. You know, I think Slovakia are slight favourites to go to. Um, to come second in the group, mm -hmm. um, but it's very much like you know when Scotland went to Georgia in the last campaign. These are the sort of places we know. I think this is a before. massive game. Um, seriously, for Scotland, I, England, Scotland is massive yeah, for, oh, well, for all reasons. Yeah. But I think in terms of a qualification, this could be Scotland's biggest game. Mm, I agree. I was going to pick out. Uh, we did in match day two. Picked out one of the games. Uh, on the, these are games are on October the 9th, October the 10th, October the 11th. I was going to talk about Netherlands, France, but you've already spoken about yeah. that because you've gone for France. Just having a quick look through. Is there anything else that would be? I mean, it's a toughie to, to, yeah, to some of the bigger games. I mean, Spain go to Albania. You expect them to win. Italy to Macedonia. You'd expect yeah. them to win. What about Serbia, Austria? Uh, Spoke about Austria in, in mm. previous ones, and you know the the strong team, but the Serbia at home have got some good players, good good players. And look, look, Republic went there in, in match day one and picked up a great result. Yeah. Um, but that that's a tough one to call. You know, I think two very good teams, um, two even match teams as well. You know, and I think a, a draw. I think the picked on a draw one of the big one. ones actually on match day three. To be honest, is is ne the Netherlands at home against France, and you've already talked about it. You put it in your treble, which is Wales to beat Georgia. France to go to Holland and win, and Iceland to beat Turkey, and my treble is Sweden to beat Bulgaria, England to go to Slovenia, and Denmark to beat Montenegro. And these prices will be available on price specials on BetSafe. If you're watching the preview on BetSafe, just have a look below the video and see the McAnally and Dickoff trebles. You'll get Premier League trebles as well on our Premier League previews on BetSafe, and you'll also obviously get our World Cup qualifying previews and this was the preview for match day three. So from Paul and myself, 
Good luck. Hopefully we'll get a few quid with our trebles for your sportsbook wallet on Betsafe. And remember, Betsafe, the official partner of Manchester City. We will see you next week for week eight of our Premier League pre uh, preview on Betsafe. So from Paul and I, good luck with all your bets over the weekend. See you next time.